Hello, my name is Amina and I'm your decision making specialist. And today in shelter, as we are around here, I would like you to know that it is day 147, August 12th, 2020. And wherever you are and however, open your part of the territory country is, please keep safe, keep healthy, and every time you notice an eyelash, a moment, a trace of joy and happiness, grab it, hold it, squeeze it, put it in your heart, write it in your story, build it into your legacy, because this is your opportunity to look around and help everyone that you can to stay safe, healthy, so that they can grab their happiness. You have that power to help. And they can write it in their story and their legacy. And together you will build a better tomorrow together. And right now, I'm going to ask you, offer, nudge, that you take a risk. I know you take certain risks every day, and I would offer that this be a risk that could cause you some discomfort, maybe a little fear that you might be attacked, that you might not be welcomed, that you might not be right, that there may be people that don't agree with you, that you are not the same. And that is on a political level, on a social justice level, on a living day-to-day -day level, on an occupation, on a financial, on a race, on a culture, on a gender, on sexual preferences, religion, all of those things that are going on right now that are separating people. Just this huge line. You either are there or you're there. It's kind of like there's no place to hide in that middle lane. That's uncomfortable. Because most of us, I'm raising my hand, maybe you, maybe other people, a lot of times kind of want to have this umbrella of the middle of the road. Yeah, that, yeah, some of that. And not take a stand. Now, taking a stand can be in the middle. It's just for us to raise our hand that none of us are ever neutral. We have an opinion. We have a judgment. We have a preference. So this is about stepping out of that belief that we're really neutral. So we hear a lot. I'm offering that today you listen. that you be willing to be uncomfortable. That instead of listening just for the ways that you're the same or just for the way that your differences come to play, listen in a way that you can learn something new about someone else. 
not just reinforce what I know, what you know, what other people know. This is not about more division. It's not about pretending that we all can get together and hold hands instantly. This is about the beginning of a conversation so that we aren't listening and then having our private thoughts or having our private thoughts and not listening to anyone except us. So in that uncomfortableness, and I am raising my hand, I will not always get it right. You will not always get it right. No one will always get it right. We all work from our own perspective, our own experience. What I'm offering is that we notice the differences and find a common phrase or a common word or a common need that will help us say, I think I hear you say this. I think I hear you needing this. I think I hear you wanting that. Am I close to what you're trying to tell me? Am I close to being able to understand what's going on for you? Is there anything else that I need to know to understand, to get you to think, to hear, to believe, to act differently? All of those. Because those are the things that a really good leader does. I don't mean a pusher. I don't mean a puller. I don't mean a shover. I don't mean a this way or the highway kind of person. I don't mean bribing, threatening, manipulating, none of that. A really good, best leader is someone who serves. Someone who wants to have a better outcome. Someone that wants to impact others and themselves and the world in a different way. A leader is somebody that chooses certain steps of action to serve better, to help people feel and get their needs met in a deeper, richer way. All of that begins with our ability to listen. Otherwise, we're giving to people what we think they need or what we believe they want or what we would want. And then we fall short and people say, you don't understand and walk away. Let's join in the conversation in a way that they stay, that we stay. It doesn't mean that we're all going to agree listening to somebody and understanding them, having them listen to you and understanding you does not mean, oh, we're the same, we believe the same. No, that's where the and comes in. I think I hear you say, I think I heard you want. I think I heard you need. How can I help you in a way that serves you? Because guess what? The very best feeling on the planet, 
I think in my model is that when we have helped somebody and they're happier, their world is better, it's smoother, more fulfilled. What if we could do that simply by listening and taking a risk to form a conversation and understanding them as closely as we can so that they know that they're seen, that they're heard, and their understanding has been met, met. No one really expects somebody to really, really get everything. I, I have lived my life with my experience and my cultures, and I can listen to somebody. I don't necessarily know every cell in their body. I haven't experienced that. And I'm offering that I, you, all of us, be willing to take a chance to be wrong and to learn so that we can get it better. Take a risk. Be yourself. Learn how other people are being themselves. Be the leader that you want. Listen, learn, lead in that order. All right. Take care. Thanks for coming. I hope this served you. Pluck, pluck pick, like if it did. And most of all, come back tomorrow because I will be here in my little fumbly way wanting to serve you and I'll be looking for you. You're important. Thanks. Bye for now.